Hello, my name is Bruce Cardrill and I'm the Drives Product Manager with McNaught McKay. Today, you're going to learn how to upload, download, and save PowerFlex Drives files utilizing Connected Components Workbench. Connected Components Workbench is loaded on the laptop. It is a no-cost software package that will connect to all PowerFlex Drives products. We, we, we will be utilizing Connected Components Workbench to connect to, in this case, a PowerFlex 525 drive. It could be a 4, a 40, a 70, a 750 series, any one of the PowerFlex family. However, Connected Components Workbench will not connect to anything related to the legacy products like 1305, 1336, or Bulletin 160s. You would need Drive Explorer or Drive Executive to do this. But all PowerFlex family drives are connectable with Connected Components Workbench. In this case with the PowerFlex 525, we have a serial DSI port and it also has an Ethernet port. We could use Ethernet or the serial connection to Connected Components Workbench to upload, download, manipulate parameters, and save files. Commonly, with Compact Logics or Control Logics processors, you can utilize Ethernet IP and connect to the ACD file of the PLC to upload and download and store all your drive's parameters. But there are times when you don't have a PLC connected, or perhaps you just want to access the drive because there's not an Ethernet port available for, on your Ethernet switch. So you can utilize a serial link by using a 1203 USB. It is a product that has what we call an anaconda, which is the main section in the middle, and it has a cable that connects to your USB port of your laptop, which I'm going to go ahead and connect to my USB connection. And on the other side, it has my RJ485 connector for my DSI port for, in this case, any Compact Logix drive from Rockwell Automation. For example, the 4, the 40s, the 400s, the 4M. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to the serial port of the DSI link of the PowerFlex 525. Then what happens is you get a light that illuminates and turns green, which means you are now connected and ready to communicate with Connected Components Workbench. We're now pulling up Connected Components Workbench, which is, which is a software tool that we will use to communicate to our PowerFlex drives, in this case the PowerFlex 525, and here you can see the main screen as you pull up Connected Components Workbench. The first thing we need to do is set up the communications so we have the drivers set up. In this case, you can select the available drivers screen and you can see that there are multiples, and we're going to select the RS-232 device driver and we're going to call it 1203 USB. And this is how you configure it. You set up the COM port on your laptop. In this case, I'm using COM port 3. You set up the device for scan port 1770 KF2. The baud rate set up at 115200. And you can also do auto configure, but these are the common settings that are used for the RS-232 1203 USB link. You can hit OK. And your driver is set up. Now we can click over on Browse Connections because this is where we're going to set up the different drivers we have avail available as RS Links is embedded inside a Connected Components Workbench. And here you can see from the drill down of the 1203 USB, the DSI port of our PowerFlex 525 is available and now it is uploading and connecting to that drive. You can see the drive is now available on your screen. There's a toolbar available to you to go ahead and look at different things. In this case, we're going to look at the parameters. All your drive's parameters are now available, and you can scroll down and see them all. In this case, we're going to select Excel Time 1. We're going to change it from 12 seconds to 20 seconds, and we are connected to the drive right now. So right now on that drive, it's live 20 seconds. Now, PowerFlex 525 in my project doesn't mean anything. I'd like to be more specific on what I have on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and call it some name. Let's say it's Conveyor 1PF525. That is now the name of my drive on my project. So I've made that change. Now I can go ahead and select File at the very upper left corner, and I can save my project as some name for the project. I could have multiple drives in this project. In this case, I have my one drive, Conveyor 1PF525, and I'm going to name the project 
Conveyor Line, that's my overall project name. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I select Desktop, select OK, select OK once again. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed to overwrite any files I may have had. If I had called this before, or if it's a new project, you won't get that anyway. It'll just upload. So now I'm uploading everything from that drive into that file, Conveyor Line, with my drive called Conveyor 1 PF525. Now the PowerFlex 525 has over 800 parameters in there because there are all kinds of things you can do with these products. So it takes a little bit to upload all the parameters. And you can see the scroll bar moving across the screen. Once complete, yes, I want to go ahead and overwrite anything I have because I want all that updated data. I select yes. And it finalizes the upload process. Now I click on my drive again. I have everything available to me as I had before. Now that's my project. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And let's say that your drive failed or you put a new drive in. You want all those parameters back into that new drive. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my main screen again. And I'm going to go ahead and open the file or open my project. In this case, conveyor line. And you can see my drive is there in my project conveyor line. I could have 10 drives in here, I could have 20 drives, in this case I only have my one. And it's Conveyor 1 PF525 is this name of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and download to this new drive that I've just put in. I am now connected to my new drive and I go ahead and download. And I'm going to go ahead and download the entire device. My drive is now finished downloading. Now if I look at my parameters and look at my new drive to see what's available to me, rather than the default 10 seconds that comes with the drive, it's now 20 seconds. It has my new file. I am happy because now I can run my process with the parameters that I wanted before. So this is a very helpful tool for you to utilize that you can connect to the drive. You can do it with an Ethernet connection or you can do it with this 1203 USB to the DSI port of the PowerFlex 525 or the 4 or the 40s or the 400s. And you can also do it with the DPI port of the 7700s and 750 series drives. For additional questions or for more videos like this, please give us a call or visit our website.